This case is quite possibly the greatest example I have ever come across of why administrative law is incredibly important to a free and fair society. It's a case in which an appalling administrative decision was overturned in the courts. The applicants were from the Mandean religion. They revere many of the figures in the Old Testament. This family lived in Iran, where Mandeans were subject to terrible discrimination by the Muslim majority. One day, some Muslim women stole jewellery from the Mandean family's jewellery store. When the sons working in the store expressed concern, the Muslim women raised an outcry and accused the sons of trying to rape them. The sons were arrested by the moral police, held for two weeks and beaten. When they returned home, they were overheard by their neighbours criticising the Muslim regime. They were beaten again. The family fled to Australia. To its shame, the Refugee Review Tribunal ignored great portions of the evidence and formed the view that the discrimination against Mandeans was not persecution, so this family should return to Iran. The family appealed, alleging that the decision had been made in bad faith. Justice Mansfield was politely scathing. He began by noting the circumstances in which the court might find an administrative decision maker has not acted in good faith are likely to be rare and extreme. Errors of fact or law will not of themselves demonstrate a lack of good faith other than in exceptional circumstances. Illogicality will not itself demonstrate a lack of good faith. But such errors or illogicality might show such capriciousness on the part of the tribunal that only one conclusion is open to the court. He went on to find that the tribunal failed to adequately address the applicants' claims that discrimination experienced by them as Sabian Mandeans amounts to persecution. The tribunal either accidentally or deliberately understated them or chose to ignore them. Even if the tribunal accidentally overlooked the more specific claims of harassment and discrimination made by the applicants, both personally and through their migration agent, that indicates to me a degree of capriciousness in addressing the review, which, together with the other factors I have mentioned, points firmly towards it failing to endeavour, in good faith, to review the delegate's decision. He overturned the appalling decision and thank goodness for administrative law, which gave him the power to do so. 